And I think that we have to refocus a bit on what I call sleep hygiene. Is that sleep is the one thing? And you know, people you read, you know, you always read stories about people bragging about how little sleep they can mm -hmm. they can get by. So of course, the examples of our children is that sleep's completely elastic. That you know, you get three hours one night, but you catch up on the weekend or something, which is not true. You really can't really catch up. I mean, mm -hmm. the damage is done with chronic sleep loss. But I think part of this is you know maybe making you know bedrooms safe spaces where there isn't electronic devices where you really move away from having you know, uh, computers and things and, and bright TVs and, and bedrooms, and really enforcing the idea that you really do need, most people need seven to nine hours of sleep. Almost no one can get by with less than seven hours on a long-term basis without having real you know, physiological changes. So I think part of this is a refocusing on the importance of sleep in, in children, and starting early, so that adults realize it's not something to be embarrassed about that you need to sleep, and, uh, and really stop this steady decrease in the sleep time, which is just, I tell you, you know, it's quite dramatic how much it's changed, as I said, in 50 years.